I said was that I you hope Gigi, Gigi doesn't, doesn't get hurt. Poor thing has suffered enough. Her whole life has been one big struggle. Poor Gigi, boo hoo. Adriana, when you talk like that, I know I mean, it's it, beneath me. I should be a better person than that. I just wish Gigi didn't get on your nerves so much. Yeah, you know, maybe I shouldn't say this, Rex, but Gigi probably gets on a lot of people's nerves. Why? I guess you don't see it, but honey, she's got the whole cocky, smart-ass thing about her. What? It gets old really fast. Okay, I, I get it. You can't stand her. Let's change the subject. Fine. Sorry I bit your head off. Jet lag. I'm not myself. You're fine. No, I'm not. I've been cranky and whiny. I hope I haven't ruined our evening. Definitely not. Besides, the night's still young. <laughs> well, much obliged, ma'am. Well, that's all right, cowboy. I guess that's part of owning a saloon. Mm. Hey, oh, you're looking better. Yeah. What happened down at the station? How'd it go? Christian got booked. He's probably in lockup by now. Oh, I didn't want it to go that far. Oh, got some new people here. You look better. Hey. Hey. You okay? Yeah, I live. You know, everyone's edgy then. They got families. Oh, they just have some bad luck lately. Guess Natalie being edgy definitely gives a person the right to punch out another person. I just. I hope you're your old self soon. Everything okay? Shaquem! It's acting so crazy. You know, that's why you cannot leave town, because you are the only sane friend that I have left. Come on, let's blow this pop stand. Ugh, and the bragging? Sometimes I just want to scream. Oh, Henry's so bright. Oh, Mikey's such an amazing athlete. Have you heard a word I said? Huh? Yeah. Yes, I have. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. And and you should be proud of Shane, because he is a really great artist. So then he showed you the comic book, huh? He, he, he did. He said he did it about his dad. It's uh, it's great that he's so proud of him. Yeah. It's a shame that Shane's dad never got to meet him, because I'm sure he'd be proud of Shane, too. Yeah, he would be. No doubt about that. Starting right now, this night is about us. Not the wedding, not anybody else, just us. That sounds great. How about two more glasses of champagne to celebrate? I'd love that. So, what happened? Good news! What? Tell me. Gigi's ex? The reports of his death were greatly exaggerated. Brody Lovett is very much alive. I can't believe Christian has to spend the night here. Hey, come on, Jess. It's not like I haven't been in a cell before. I'm oh, fine. Fine. I'll be here in the morning. I can post bail. I know Sorry. you can, Christian, okay? I, uh, I'll just be here anyway. All right. Time to go. Unbelievable. We'll see you in the morning. You know, I, I just don't get this whole situation at all. If Bo was still commissioner, you know, he would have let Christian off. Any decent guy would have. I agree. Any decent person would. Good night. All right, you're set for the evening. Thank you for staying late. Oh, can I call you Cam? Oh, no, no, I'll walk. It's such a lovely evening. Uh, well, you take care. Huh. You too. Layla, telling me things are going 
going great. You should meet with the new store. Oh, this late. Oh, you know my partner. She's a go-getter. <sighs> that call seems to have put you in a better mood. Yes, definitely. Ramsey came in just to gloat. And the things he said to me in that office, it was pretty brutal. I should have been there. Well, he went off on me. He seemed to be on Antonio's side, but he still wouldn't let Christian go. Ramsey's not on Antonio's side. He doesn't care about anyone but himself. My view never gets old, does it? Well, you're a lot more familiar with this skyline than I am, but you know, I'm relatively new in this town, but, well, must feel good to be home, huh?